the Bandits gradually seize control. Now it's turned over to Buds for a breakaway on Pierce Charlson. Backhander, and it's off Charlson and just wide right of the net. Taps it left point, fast again. Fed across right circle, Mashy shoots right on. Rebound, Van Shaw jamming at it, same. Rebound still loses the body scramble in the blue paint. Tap wall, and to the circle, put it further down low to Gravel, who skates left circle. Put it left tap wall to LeMay. LeMay holds it, puts it up to the high slot. Lucas fires, oh! scores! Faithful erupt here in Drumheller as Andrew Lucas was left wide open just above the right hash marks. And he fires home a power play goal with 8-10 to go in the first period. The Bandits strike first and they have a 1-0 lead. And how? 42 points in 42 games. Christie left point off the drop. Puts it right circle. Ryan Mashey looking for his 30th goal. Put it back across and Bass couldn't corral it. He recollects left point. Bass put it mid blue line to Christie. Ray Christie shoots to a screen. Score! Took him less than 15 seconds as Ray Christie fires it home from the mid-blue line. And the Bandits, on a couple of power play goals from the point, have taken a 2-0 lead here in Drumheller. Face off back to center ice, and the Bandits have outshot Drumheller 10-0. Sits it back for Lucas. Fed across left point. Here's Brandon Scanlon. Put it back middle, and it's Plessy firing. Saved, and the rebound is under the pad of goaltender for Boyko to carry in left circle and fire it right on. Rebound, Boyko's tied up, but it came to Armstrong who shoots free here. Put it to the left tap wall and the Dragons take it away. As it was Raymond getting it down to the bandit line for Edwards to carry in. Got around to Seiko, break away! He shoots, he scores! Galen who fed it up the middle for Harrison. Chipped it ahead, trying to find Armstrong behind the D, but the Dragons again got a stick in the way. Armstrong recollects, gives it to Boyko to carry into the left circle, and his shot is blocked by Adam Heindel on the back check. Boyko recollects, puts it up top, Lund with a one-timer, he scores! Simon Boyko from the end wall, put it to Ethan Lund at the... High slot and number six blasts that slapper into the back of the net. And finally, he can get rid of that awful mustache. The Bandits have a three to one lead here in Drumheller. It'll be Lund's second career goal. They'll ask for the puck, because to let you folks in on a trade secret, his first career goal actually went off. Truman couldn't corral it. Hernandez takes it away, carries it three on one. Hernandez right circle, fed across LeMay, put it to the slot, and Gravel deflected it, but it was stopped by Verostic. Is barreling down to the right corner and in behind the net. Hernandez left corner centers. Bass to one timer off his stick. Loose to the far side. But Scout Truman who's out to the rick. Drop back Stanell. Carries over the bandit line down the middle. Weaves to the right circle and shoots and scores. <laughs> Carrying off the rush by Stanell and he fires home Arister from the right face off dot. Dragons convert on the power play off the rush. And we have a one goal game here. Three collect, get it left point, Heindel. Settles down a bouncer, puts it right side, topper, fed back across, on wide open, put it back across instead of shooting. And it went off a skate. Backhands it down low, centering feet to the back door. And it's off the stick of a sneaking in Martin. And they couldn't get it on goal. Now Armstrong the other way carries in to the slot. He fires it and he just missed the net on the glove side. Vachon gets there first, but he'll be pressured quickly. He fires it up the near side wall. Dragons couldn't keep it in, plus he took it away. Cuts into the offensive zone, one on two, shoots, he scores! The captain evades two Drumheller back checkers to carry into the offensive zone and jam that into the wide open Drumheller cage. And the Brooks Bandits are now 94 seconds away from 22 consecutive wins. Drumheller's stick, so there's no icing on this one, and the Bandits are going to win in Drumheller and win 22 consecutive games. <laughs> Again, plenty of applause from the traveling Bandit fans who made up a good chunk of the of not just the crowd here in Drumheller tonight, but also of the 50-50 pot. The Brooks Bandits have now set a new watermark for second longest win streak in AJHL history. 22 straight wins for Brooks. 4-2 is the final score here in Drumheller tonight.